We've all seen images like this over the last three years. Nurses distressed, facing an impossible choice of who will be put on a ventilator and who will die. Frontline health workers often have to make impossible choices in very high-stakes situations, as to paramedics and police. We've applauded these heroes during the pandemic, but after the dust settles, these kinds of difficult moral experiences can linger. They're even worse when you feel like the, situa uh, the, the system you're a part of just doesn't care. Frontline workers are now at a higher risk of PTSD, depression. We're seeing social disconnection, suicide attempts, and hear about debilitating feelings of anger, guilt, and shame. The profound suffering that can come from making impossible choices is called moral injury, and it urgently needs our attention. Our understanding of moral injury has come from research on the experiences of soldiers after war, but more and more occupations are suffering from it. There's a desperate need for us to understand what does moral injury look like outside the military? But we don't have a good range of measurement tools for moral injury. If a doctor wanted to check for a broken bone, they'd do an X-ray. To screen for diabetes, we can do a blood test. I'm a psychologist. To measure what's happening with psychological injury and illness, experts like me ask a series of questions. The science of accurately capturing our internal experience through asking the right questions and then translating these into a score is called psychometrics, and that's what I do in my research. I've developed one of the first psychometric measurement tools of moral injury in occupational settings beyond the military. My measure captures the situations that can lead to moral injury and the key symptoms that we need to look out for. Unlike existing measures, mine could be used in any occupational setting, allowing for comparison across groups for the first time. I'm validating this tool in a group of 750 frontline health and first responder workers, including doctors, nurses, paramedics and police. I'm also testing people behind the counters in emergency departments, and those who will answer the phone when you call triple zero. This measure will help us screen for those who are most at risk and pinpoint the situations causing the most distress, meaning we can either prevent moral injury or diagnose and treat it before it festers. Frontline health workers and police may still need to make impossible choices, but they don't have to be impossible to live with.